In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the difference between weight loss and fat loss and why you should actually focus on fat loss and not that number on the scale. Stay tuned. Hey guys, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hubbard Fit. If you're new to my channel and you've never been here before, or maybe this is the first video you've watched, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button so you can get more notifications when I put out a new video. And don't forget to hit that bell as well so you get an email letting you know, hey, Shane put a new video up on YouTube. All right, so now that I've annoyed you with my subscription speech, let's go ahead and get into today's topic weight loss versus fat loss. Now, most people that say they wanna lose weight really wanna lose fat, but there's importance in trying to work out the semantics because when you step on the scale, what you're measuring is your weight, but what you really wanna be able to measure is your fat. So for a lot of my clients and people that reach out to me on social media, I say, listen, the scale isn't going to tell you if you're actually losing fat, unless you have one of the newer scales that are coming out that have body fat tracking, which is really cool. And if you don't have one, you should definitely go look into some. I might even do a video on some of the scales that I would recommend getting if you're going to get one. All right, so I'm gonna put a little graphic on the screen right now and explain to you the difference between weight loss and fat loss. So as you can see, weight loss can be a lot of different things. It could be muscle, it could be actual fat, it could be water or it could be feces. Whereas fat loss and focusing just on fat loss is purely just fat. If you're somebody who's been frustrated with the scale not giving you the results you want, and this is starting to make a lot of sense, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button so I know that you guys are getting value out of this content. So there's a couple of reasons why focusing on weight loss really isn't going to get you the results that you want. The first reason is, is that you don't really want to track how much water and how much poop that you lose because it's not a actual measurement that's ever something you're going to be able to control. You're either going to drink water and gain some weight and then pee it out and then you're gonna poop and you're gonna lose weight that way and it's not really a reason to measure your weight. And a lot of times our daily weight fluctuation has a lot to do with those two things, which is the reason why I don't like using the scale that often. The other reason is, is you don't wanna lose muscle mass. Muscle mass is probably the most beneficial tool, the beneficial part of tissue in your body for burning calories, specifically fat calories, because it raises your metabolism and helps you burn more calories when you're just sitting around watching TV or hanging out. So because losing weight can really mean a number of things, it's really not beneficial to measure your weight as much as it is to measure how much fat you've lost. If you're somebody who's been frustrated with the scale and you wanna start focusing on losing fat and not losing weight, let me know about what you are currently doing right now in the comments section below. All right, so now I wanna talk a little bit about the difference between weight loss and fat loss when it comes to how you measure it. So it is possible to lose fat, but not lose weight. What? Now you're probably thinking, how is that possible? Well, in a lot of instances, if you're doing some type of exercise along with trying to eat healthier foods and you're in a caloric deficit and you're losing fat, there's a good chance that you're actually going to gain muscle and lose fat at equal amounts of interval. So if you gain three pounds of muscle, you might lose three pounds of fat, which means on the scale that's measuring everything, your weight hasn't changed. But you start to notice that maybe your pants are fitting a little bit better, or maybe your shirts are fitting better, or maybe you're waking up in the morning with a ton more energy. These are all other ways to measure fat loss that don't involve the scale, which only tells you what your total weight is, which is pretty irrelevant if your body composition is really healthy. I have a really good example of this with one of my clients. I was working with her for about a year. She came to me at weighing 165 pounds and she wanted to lose weight. Over the course of a year, she didn't lose one single pound, but she dropped her body fat by 7%. Now, the reason why this happened was is because she hadn't strength trained or done any type of exercise before, so she pretty equally gained muscle and lost fat at the same time. And it took me a little while to convince her that something was actually improving. And then one day she woke up and she realized, hey, my pants are fitting so much better. My shirts are fitting better. I feel better. My body looks better when I look at myself in the mirror. I'm starting to fill out my muscle mass a little bit more. So these are all things that really matter when it comes to losing fat that weight loss really can't help you out with. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, 
give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know what's going on with your own fat loss goals in the comment section below. And as I said before, if you want more information and you want to stay attuned with what I'm going to be doing on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified when I upload a new video and stay tuned for more videos coming soon.